So, hello, hello everyone. Welcome to the lighthouse. Welcome to today's Qigong gathering. Uh, today, uh, you know, I, feel, I always feel like I'm saying, it's an auspicious day for practice. <laughs> um, but today is the new moon. Um, and it's a new moon in Libra. And so it's a, it's a significant day for us as practitioners to evaluate, um, you know, what, um, what patterns do we have put in place? What sort of codes are running in the subconscious mind? What are our intentions? And are the current cascade of intentions creating internal tensions? Or is it the right kind of creative, generative G-force friction that's moving us in the direction that we're really committed to going in for, you know, the next six months? So take this first moment and come into a stateless state. A stateless state where you are the answer. Where you, where your whole being, where the positive resonance of your being is the answer. And just receive, you know, what, what it is that you want to be wholly embodying for the next six months, okay? So that we can match chaos with radiance, so that we can, you know, be living uh, with a stocked pond, so that we feel like we've got, you know, a sufficiency of inner resources, so that we experience, you know, our anatomy as being activated by evolutionary electricity, and so that, you know, we can embrace every day as the transformational window that it is. Okay, so use today's practice to leap back into your instincts. My friend Malin said that last week in a meeting and I was like, there's so much juice in that sentence to leap back into your instincts. And so use the moving meditation as, um, as the vehicle for doing just that. So let's begin the physical part. Bring your feet to a little bit wider than the width of your hips, and then bend the knees. Keep the inner lines of the feet parallel, please. Having all 10 toes flowing forward, relax your butt bones down into the large space between the inner upper thighs so that you've got mobility, so the big nerve ganglia that's at the tail of your spinal column has plenty of space to experience its blossoming so that it can both receive and um, release in simultaneity. So bring your hands alongside uh, your hips with the palms facing up, and we're gonna reach the left arm forward and collapse through the whole of the lung meridian and the community of the spine. And then with a flourish of the hand, bring the left hand back up alongside the hip. So root and return, root, Turn. I'm just going to oscillate to the side so you can see what's going on in my spine. I'm rooting and then I'm returning. Rooting. Returning. Rooting. Returning. So, obviously, we have the large, significant zones of the body that are moving, but I want you to be equally as minded towards all of the delicate bones, so the large significant zones, and all, each and every delicate bone, both matter, so that you have the yin and the yang, and then that quality of energy that is um, transforming and transcending both yin and yang, okay? So one more root with the left hand, and then begin doing the same thing on the right side. Have the left palm facing up. I'm just going to turn this down a wee bit for us. So re reaching with the right arm. And then returning. The knees are bent, inner lines of the feet are parallel. Feel how you're finessing the movement through the pinky finger and all the way through the end of the thumb. Recalibrating a balance and all of the elements in your physical body. So we're 
relaxing the trunk of the body on the out breath right here. And we're opening, blossoming the belly and the heart and the head on the in breath. Taking it through the small bones of the pinky fingers and the pinky toes, even feel the toes in active participation. So now begin with both palms facing up, a slight bend in the knees, a deep descent of energy in the tailbone, and just as much ascent of energy through the crown of the head and through the brainstem. We'll do the very same thing with both hands. So reaching forward, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. through the lung meridian and the whole line of the spine on the out breath. It's an audible ah shake, ah sound through the open mouth. So ah, and then really create the full flourish in the wrists, through the small bones from pinky finger to thumb, and allow that to be reflected in the gesturing and the exploration and expression in the spine, all between here and here, okay? So exhale, and then inhale. Exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale. Exhale, stateless state that allows the experience of the practice to be a, an undeniable dopamine reset. You know, not only is it the new moon in Libra, but you know, we've just transitioned, we have a seasonal change, right? And so it's very easy for our vata to get out of balance, out of balance. So we're using the practice to cultivate, to become balanced, to become balanced and to bring all of the fluctuations into a harmonic stillness, come into the rapturous inner stillness, the incorruptible stillness that is always available at your center point, the revolving still point, okay? So have the heels in and the toes out, come into some kind of a squat, it can be low, it can be high, it's entirely up to you. And then we're going to take the right arm to the left, up overhead, and then to the right. And again, I'm bringing the energy from the smallest, you know, less obvious parts of my anatomy through all of the obvious parts of my anatomy. The whole is in active participation. So right arm to the left, up and over, left arm to the left, up and over. Now as this is happening, the right arm is going back. And then I'll bring my right arm on the back diagonal, up overhead and forward. And then I'm gonna open it all up. So left arm up and over to the left. Right arm up and over as the left arm goes back. Left arm back, up and over. Reach the left arm forward. And then open it all up. So in the same way that you are exploring the small aspects of your structure and the large aspects of your structure at once, you are also exploring the parts of your body that are simultaneously surrendering and completely firing up with that G-force. 
that gives you that generative, transformational, healing heat that allows you to recognize yourself as the answer when you are faced with the unknown and when you are in the heart of your comfort zones, both. So right arm to the right, left arm to the right, right arm forward, and then open it all up. Exploring the parts of you that can squeeze, squeeze the armature of your skeleton with the large muscles of the body, left arm to the left, right arm to the left, left arm back, left arm back, up and forward, open. Once more in each direction, my friends. So right arm, left arm, right arm, open. Left arm, right arm, left arm, open. Step both feet together. Bring the hands to the lower dantian to the middle dantian, up to the upper dantian, and then offer the energy forward at the level of the face, rotate the palms of the hands to face the sky. Again, take it through every small and large bone, pulling the shoulder blades back, tuck the buttock bones down. Now lift your heels up. First, I'll do one demonstration and then we'll do it numerous times together as a group, okay? So working with swimming dragons so that we can be in full grace. You know, and I just want to say that when we are in the stateless state, we know that grace is a, an aspect of who we are. It's not something outside of ourselves that we have to grasp for or um, attempt to reach or attain. It's about coming home into what's already there. Grace is always, already there. And the practice is that transformational window that allows us to, to be in that uh, kind of connection. So watch here, swimming dragon. while still really cultivating that the continuity of the umbilical cord that I am riding joyfully forward. Riding it joyfully forward while still maintaining a balance of the scales. Okay, so heels in, toes out, spine long and belly soft. Belly soft so that you can really be the breath, so that you can be the environment, the fertile grounds that the breath wants to land in, okay? So bring the blades of the hands together and reach the arms forward, draw the shoulder blades down, hang the head back, and then look forward, bring the palms of the hands together and take your dragon tail to the right and tuck it underneath your right ear as you look beyond the left elbow towards the left inner knee. Now bring the dragon tail, which is the tips of all 10 fingers, bring the dragon tail towards your left inner thigh and hip, towards your navel, and then back out. And take the dragon tail forward. Bring the blade edges of the hands together so the palms are on high, and hang the head back. Bring the palms of the hands together, bring the dragon tail to the left so you can tuck it underneath your left ear and the dragon tail to the right inner hip. Mm. Along the navel center, bring the backs of the hands together and then the palms of the hands together, reach the arms and then draw them back so they're hovering momentarily again underneath the left ear and take both hands forward, 
Rotate the palms of the hands to face the sky. Relax the shoulders, open the heart. Hang the head back. Inhale, huge. Hold the breath for a moment. Let it nourish you. Bring the palms of the hands together. Take the dragon tail to the right. Tuck it underneath the right ear. Drop your right ear so you're opening your left, the left side of the neck. Then bring the dragon tail towards the left hip, through the navel center, and over to the right. Pull the dragon tail back underneath the right ear. Take it forward. Palms of the hands to face the sky, hang the head back. Palms of the hands together, dragon tail to the left. Circle the tail. Tail underneath the left ear. Bring the arms forward. Straighten the legs. Step the feet together. It's that kind of generative friction, the G-force, that endows you with the innate capacity to match chaos with radiance. To match chaos with radiance. Palms of the hands to face the earth. Ground the hands so that they're coming down in front of the tops of the thighs and bring the hands alongside the outer thighs, palms of the hands facing forward. And then bring the fingertips of the middle fingers to the midline of the side thigh and have a moment of stillness. Again, the glorious, rapturous grandeur of stillness revolving still point and bear witness mm, to the hormonal transfiguration to the dopamine reset to the surge of serotonin can you relax a little bit more into the large serotonin seashell of the pelvic bone ah feeling held by this uh, flotation device that is this massive bone so that every you know intricate zone in the body can feel connected and charged and creative and sufficiently current courageous all right so moving right along we're going to bring the hands into tiger mudra so we just had this incredibly like interstitial fluid energy in, in swimming dragon and so then this tiger uh, form that we're about ready to practice, tiger descends the mountain, um, it, it's going to give you a lot of flow, but also a lot of focus. Um, I'm always really interested in the alchemy of both flow and focus, uh, the masculine and the feminine and the yin and the yang. And then like I was saying earlier, the essence that both um, combines and transcends those polarities. Okay, that's the power G-force. Um, so, bend the first two segments of all the fingers in towards the central region of your palms. Bring your left hand alongside your left eye and your right hand alongside your right ear. I'm sorry, alongside the hip. So we're like so in this tiger gesture. And I'm gonna lift my right leg and step it forward placing the heel down first. I have the left knee bent. Now I'm gonna straighten the left leg. Twist just fractionally to the left as I elongate, extend and expand through the community of the spine. And then I'm gonna twist on the back of the right heel. So the toes of the right foot are twisting to the right. And then I'm going to come down into a twist, bending both knees and I'm reaching the forearms, elbows, wrists, and tiger paws on a deep back reaching diagonal across the top of my right thigh. Now I'm gonna come forward, tiger pose forward, and then I'm gonna to come to the side, and then tiger paws are gonna come back behind my left ankle. I'm gonna let my left arm be really heavy so as to let it hang, and I'm gonna begin straightening the legs, fanning the right arm up so it's alongside my left ear. I'm swiveling on the whole surface of both soles of my feet. And then here I am, facing forward again, ready to begin 
the tiger descent on the other side. So stand on the right foot, draw the left leg in. I'm just backing up for visibility. Draw the left foot in. Lift the left leg for a moment. Find that evolutionary electricity in the center of the ball of the belly. Kick the tiger leg forward and then drop the left heel to the floor. Straighten your right leg, the back leg. Allure the energy, existential energy, all the way through the small bones of the spine. Both legs straight, twist fractionally to the right. And then twist, swiveling on the back of the left heel. Anchor the left ball of the foot, left toes. Tuck your right knee towards the inside of the left knee and reach both arms, elbows, forearms, wrists, and hands over top of your left thigh and back and down. Now take both arms to the side and forward. Keep it as low as you can and bring the arms back behind your right foot. The right hand now is back by my right heel. I'm gonna let the right arm hang heavy and low and I'm gonna fan through the left arm. I'm so, right now I'm so powerfully squeezing out my right kidney and I'm gonna fan my left arm around the orbit of the head. <sighs> left hand is back where it was when we started this form. Left tiger claw is alongside the left eye and right tiger claw is alongside the right hip. So we're working with the axis of the body and we're working all of this reaching around. Is cleaning up the fort of your orbit. Okay, so we're working both axis and orbit. Left hand, let's do it once more on each side. Left hand alongside the eye, right hand alongside the hip. And pull the right leg in, kick the tiger leg. Drop the heel, swivel to the left. Swivel now to the right, drop the right ball of the foot and then the toes. Tuck your right knee in towards the left knee. And then reach, I'm just turning so that you can see. Reach both four, uh, elbows, forearms, wrists, and hands on a deep diagonal across the top of the right thigh. Squeeze. Squeeze the first two segments of all the fingers. That's what's activating. That's what's on fire undeniably so that you can be in the freedom and the fluidity and the flow of the deepest innermost cords of your spine. Take the arms forward and then to the side, and then back, and around. So now we have the right hand alongside the eye, and the left hand alongside the left hip, and bring the left leg up, drop the left heel. Keep the left heel as your anchor point, straighten the back leg, swivel to the right, then swivel to the left, drop the left toes, tuck the right knee, and then reach. I'm just turning for visibility. And take the tiger paws forward to the side and then back. Step the legs together, release the tiger paw. And I'd love for you to have a moment where you're just shaking. So I'm shaking and jumping, but you don't have to jump. You can shake in whatever way is coming through your inimitable autonomy, okay? Shake in your way so that you, you know, so that you feel reset. Isn't that a good one? So still staying in the large cat family. A little bit more stable though, so less to think about with the mind which makes it easier to be in the stateless state. Right leg forward, left foot in the back, and I'm creating a, a sort of general right angle with the directionality of the feet. Right toes forward, left toes to the side. With the left leg and back, I'm gonna bring my left wrist in front. And so the lion mudra in the hands is the same as the tiger. I want you to squeeze the first two segments of all 10 of the fingers in towards the open space of the palm. 
All right, so now we're gonna bend the knees and drop the big serotonin seashell of the pelvic bone <laughs> down into this big space that's between the heels and the thighs. Okay, you've got plenty of space. You always want to give the anatomy a sufficiency of space so that you can experience the full blooming of what's going on in the form. Don't forget to breathe. Are you breathing? Full, full power breath. Left wrist in front of the right wrist, come into the mudra and then sit down. So what you wanna do is pull the outer left ribs towards the inside of the right femur bone. Okay, and then look with focus while feeling an inner state of flow. Look with focus through this triangulated space between the backs of your hands here and stay here or activate the flow by undulating through your spine. sort of mental transmissions that we get, go ahead and pull up out of it, um, with these big cat horns, hopefully you're feeling it, is that you toggle from being in, you know, any iteration of a distracted state to the timeless immensity of patience. That's what these big cats give us uh, inside of our portfolio of forms. The timeless immensity of patience. When was the last time you undeniably felt that as an authentic frequency in your body? So, you know, be sure that you continue to practice these forms in the space between our live meetings so that you don't ping back into, you know, the subconscious habit patterns that cause any kind of amnesia in body or mind so that you can remain in a stateless state so that your hormones, your hormones are harmonious. Okay, so go ahead and bring the left foot forward and the right leg back. Again, find that right angle directionality, left foot forward, right foot to the side. Create the tiger or the lion mudra, have the right wrist in front and then drop the big, bone of the pelvis down into the space between the ankles and between the thighs. Allure the right outer ribs towards the inside of the left femur and stay put looking in a focused, sustained, timeless manner through the triangular space between the back of the hands or thread it through. Good, and then come on up. Step the feet together. And wave for a moment. Waving through the whole length of your spine. Matching chaos with radiance, your radiance. So that when you step into the room, your very presence is part of the solution. You don't even have to open your mouth. It's a frequency thing. You, as a practitioner, are emitting a consistency of clarity as the core vibe of your frequency. A consistency of clarity. All right, so standing on the left foot, bring the ball and toe of the right foot to the floor alongside the left toe so the right heel is up, and we're gonna Root the hands with the right wrist crossed on top in front of, uh, in the direction of the right knee. 
and then I'm going to kick the right leg out to the side and make a big sweeping fan shape with both arms and look to the right and then drop the right foot flat and scoop the chi, bringing it all in, anchoring down now through the ball and toes of the left foot, bring the left hand on top and reach and make a big fan shape with the arms, looking to the left kicking the left leg, drop the left heel flat, pull it in. So now our hands are crossed right on top in front of the lower dantian. Reach, inhale. Take the movement through the large, obvious vicinities and through the delicate zones as well. Kick the right leg out to the side, drop the right foot flat, scoop the chi, bring it in. Concentrate and consolidate the chi in the Dantian, in the heart, in the mind. So you are the emanation. Good, and then reach the arms, left arm on top, make the broad double rainbow stroke, looking over to the left. Kick the left foot out, drop the left heel, scoop the chi, bring the right leg in. A few more times without my language. Right arm on top. together through the hands to the ball of your belly. Take a moment to stand in the timeless immensity of the stateless state where you are the answer. What a relief. What a precious Take extraordinary good care.